Hi, this is Rachel from Full Swing Tennis. Today I'm going to go through the one-handed backhand. So we want to start with our grip. So if you hold the racket out in front and then just hold on to it with that index knuckle on that top flat bevel. So one of the ways we get the little kids to get this grip is if you have them take their pointy finger and just slide it down the frame of the racket and then curl that finger around and that'll leave that index knuckle on that top flat bevel. So one of the reasons why I really like this grip is because it places the palm of your hand pushing out onto the ball. So if you were to use an eastern forehand grip or a continental grip, you'd be pulling the racket and you lose a lot of strength. So it doesn't feel very comfortable using the eastern backhand grip and backhands aren't the most comfortable things to get used to to start with, but I really recommend that you try and use that as early as possible. So we want to start with our racket up and our non-hitting hand is on the throat of the racket. And step one, we're just going to turn and take our racket back. So toes are pointing to the side fence and our inside foot is behind the oncoming ball path. Step two, we're going to step toward the ball. Step three, we're going to reach out and contact the ball as early as you can out in front of you. And step four, you're going to come up and follow through. And one thing to note, there's no rotation with the single-handed backhand. So you basically stay side onto the net as you hit it. So again, so rack it up, pivot and turn, step, contact, and follow through. So there are some tips on the one-handed backhand. You might also want to have a look at the video on the two-handed backhand and the pros and cons of the one-handed versus two-handed backhand. So thanks again for watching and please email me with your questions.